Well, you've all been asking for it. The, the challenge most wanted, the challenge that has been sought after for generations, the challenge that really has founded my channel, really, and it's only, it was, it was only a matter of time before it, it actually happened, and... Guys, this is the... This is the Tide Pod Only Chatner! Ah, oh, hey, it's me, I saw Productions, and that was a trick! Well, I'd love to gobble on down some good old chemicals to end it once and for all. Unfortunately, in the, uh, Yogscast basement I'm being held in, they, they don't let me handle anything like that, but, um... We, we could play some Hearts of Iron 4 instead, and we'll do motorized only! That'll, that'll make up for the pain! Remember to hit the like button and hit the subscribe if you like to like things and like like to subscribe to things too! I upload regular content on Hearts of Iron 4! It's a fun gay time for everyone! God, Hearts of Iron 4 is so insensitive, how can they just have Germany and Hitler and fascism? in the game this historical game can't be historic i'm writing a letter so of course germany is the only country i should be doing motorized only as because it, it's the og it's the original back when we used to motorize around in our little trucks back in the day when uh, i had some original content and original things happened in the video and Everyone was nice. They were like, oh, I sorrow. I'll like the video. You're a good guy. But now it's just like, oh, I sorrow. You're gay, lol. From Hitler 420. So I think to make this a bit easier, we won't be using any mechanized. But I think later on in the game, I'll, I'll allow maybe anti-tank and artillery just for that extra soft attack. Um, I'll allow motorized rocket artillery too, of course, because they are indeed motorized and rockety. <laughs> Uh, it's just kind of like a truck with some fireworks strapped to the back though, honestly. Whoa, Hitler, what do you think you're doing? You can't just speak out against Poland. What you planning? You best not be planning an invasion, Hitler. That's very naughty. That's my secret, viewer. I'm always planning an invasion of Poland. So, I thought this would be a bit harder than it was, considering my army is only half equipped here, but the motorized actually does incredibly well against the infantry there, but they're basically just more expensive, faster infantry. So, I think we'll be able to pull this off pretty quickly, although that other flank's not looking that fucking great. Who would win, viewer? My over 6,000 pound weighing truck or some silly Polish infantry divisions? Of course it's the trucks! You may be wondering why I took Poland out first before doing anything else, and it's pretty simple. They share a border with the Soviets, who I've got a, I've got a little bit of a trip to, I've got to make a bit, I've got to, I've got to make a, I've, I've got to make a bit better. Just casually turning Poland into a oil field. <sighs> democracy? What have democracies ever done right? Like, fucking hell, they had Hillary Clinton last election, who wants that? Oh, yeah, I was, I was supposed to help Spain out. Oops. Right, so I'm in charge of Austria now. First thing we're changing as supreme authority of Hitler is all these units need to be trucks. Yes? What do you mean that's not feasible? Just do it! I completely forgot, but I, I set like 36 divisions to be made of motorized, and they've just been sitting here for a very long time. So, uh, here you go. Straight to the front line with you. Look at them go. Oh, it's beautiful. Ah, oh, just nothing like a good Germany game, honestly. You get so powerful, you get all this build up, and you just get all these countries for free, and there's nothing anyone can do a. Oh, oh, um, uh, d do about it. Uh, Stalin, you look a bit different. Ah, oh, but anyway, no matter what new makeup you might have, Stalin, I think it was inevitable that I need to, unfortunately, drive straight into your capital for an overused joke. Oh, well, Italy just started World War II by the looks now. <laughs> You really couldn't have just waited until I took out the fucking Soviets. Jesus Christ! Yeah, unsurprisingly, the Soviets are just doing what the Soviets do best, and that's ramming into my lines, depleting all their equipment and manpower, and then eventually dying. Isn't that right, Mr. Stalin? <laughs> Why, yes, Italy, I will accept your mountain infantry to a naval doctrine. Those will do great for my mountain... Motorized, uh, no. Not quite a record breaker, but I have indeed killed 6.3 million Soviets compared to the 100k I've lost to them, and I, I think soon enough we're gonna go ahead and make a push against, uh, Stalin. <laughs> 
Yeah, when, when their whole army has no infantry or manpower to back them up, I, I'm literally running the Soviets over with my fucking motorized. It's so beautiful. I just go straight to Moscow. We don't even need to do anything tactical. Look at them fucking go. My fleet of beauty. Yeah, dude, should you be looking at the road? What the fuck are you doing back there? Oh, shit. <laughs> There's some sort of naked fucking hamster on the road. What's that shit? And that's how the Nazi Germans historically managed to capture Moscow. Yeah. Speaking of captures, I've just found something we can melt down and turn into rubber. <laughs> Boom! The Soviets are done with. And, uh, uh, what should we do now? Should we probably help Italy, I suppose. Yeah, I, I should really probably help Italy. Oh uh, yeah, Italy, I'll be just, I'll join the war, yeah, I'll be with you in a second, but unfortunately, there is a, there's a huge traffic, I'm in huge traffic, in fact, that's not even a lie, I've got so many trucks that we have created quite the congestion. Thankfully, early or late war with the Allies, France is still incredibly fucking easy to blitzkrieg, especially when you're going like 50 miles an hour straight to their capital. I am gonna have to take out Denmark as well though, because the British are gonna non-stop navally invade me, and since I have a very long coastline in the Baltic now, that's gonna be quite the fucking issue. So, uh, sorry, Denmark. I mean, it literally does fucking nothing, but might as well. All it does is turn my country slightly darker. Although, you know, is, is that cool? I don't know. Oh, I, I must have missed the memo on what the fuck is going on here. <laughs> what the hell? For some reason, the Allies keep landing like nine, nine or ten divisions each time in provinces without ports, which I, I think is hard coded in like their. D-Day AI scenario shit, and um, basically I'm killing hundreds of thousands of Americans. I, I, I've already killed a million just doing this. I think, I, I don't think the AI was expecting for me to uh, <laughs> invade them by the looks. Why are they all in London? Interesting thing here is, because I took all this land in Britain, that's fine, but they actually capitulated to Italy. Italy, I don't think you deserve any... Italy, you... What the fuck is going on? Ah, well, I think the Americans nuked Japan because they've capitulated and now I'm at war with them, so friendship ended with Japan! You know what's fun? Pushing into China through Xinjiang with only motorized divisions. Boy, I, I've never had this much fun in my entire life! Oh, this is... I'm not even lying. I, I'm playing late game and pushing into Asia with just motorized. I honestly want to fucking shoot myself. Right, I need to take a quick break from this front because I'm losing my fucking mind. So instead, we're going to take a nice vacation down to Communist Spain. Oh, shit. Turkey's in my faction. They went fascist and they're... They seem to be rebuilding some sort of empire and they, they also made North Cyprus. It's just like real life. Hey, what's a more cancerous front than the Asian one? Well, the, the African one. I'm just really punishing myself. What the fuck? The Franco-British Union just formed, but that usually forms when France capitulated, but France capitulated like five years ago. Ah, uh, who nuked Free India? <laughs> Nuked a mountain province in India of all fucking places. I need to build some nuclear reactors in the safest place in my country, which is, I think that's probably Ukraine. I, I don't think it could go wrong. That man, me, just trucking through the Middle East. You know, the best thing about these German technologically advanced trucks is that they can just go ahead and drive on water. I know, I can't believe the Allies didn't think this tech up. I mean, if the Nazis were going to rise up from somewhere, it makes sense it would probably be fucking Florida. Feels pretty good. But the question is, can we march these four trucks right into Washington? There we go! Oh, easy peasy. Hold on. I'm sorry, last time I looked at you, Italy, you were taken over by the Netherlands. Now, how are you here? Well, last country I've got to take out to get this peace deal is Canada, and I'm sure they'll put up a, a valiant effort to take me out indeed. How many troops are <laughs> Oh, Canada, what happened? <laughs> Woo, so Canada capitulated, and that should be the fucking peace deal, I, I think. Let's just go ahead and speed it up a little bit. Let me just double check. Oh my god, I lost 9 million fucking Germans doing this war. <laughs> Fuck me. Uh, yeah, apparently Australia is now considered a major power, so... Gotta invade Australia too! 
Fudge and me. And those Australia were still inhospitable for anyone to live in, ever. Well, mission accomplished. We managed to do motorized only. And it actually it went pretty well because motorized is actually quite powerful. And I think we did pretty well. And I think this might be the last challenge run on my uh, channel for a little bit. I just realized the comments are still in Mongolia and Tanativa. <laughs> Oops, forgot about there. But uh, I think this will be the last challenge run for a while. I think this is a nice fitting one to leave it on. Unless, obviously, I see a pretty good idea in the comments. So if you've got any last challenge ideas feel free to let me know but i think we've done all the good ones now and we can all rest easily knowing that stalin and his he looked a bit different today didn't he? he's definitely in hell right now but uh yeah if you enjoyed this video leave a like hit the subscribe button and i'll catch you around tomorrow maybe